How the heck are people making these captioned videos on Instagram with the white bars? Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Rebel Nutrition and I help health coaches and nutritionists create profitable work from wherever businesses, but don't worry, even if you aren't a health coach or a nutritionist, you just wanna put caption videos on your Instagram account, this video is going to be for you. So I'm back today with a quick tech tutorial that's gonna teach you how to add captions to your Instagram videos as well as the white bars on top and bottom so that they look like this and working from because i don't know about you guys but when i was trying to figure out how to do this all i got was a bunch of tech jargon like itt and ce608 and srt formats and i have no clue what any of that means so in this video i'm going to give you a super simple and quick tutorial on how to add those captions to your instagram feed posts and you can also use the same strategy if you want to put a video on igtv or instagram stories it's all pretty much the same process but first real quick if you guys want more tips and tricks on instagram be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button so that tells me that you want more instagram related tutorials tips and tricks just like this one so first of all, why do you even wanna put captions on your video in the first place? Well, as you guys probably know, most people, I think it's like 80%, actually don't have their sound on when they're scrolling through Instagram. So adding captions is a great way to still reach those people that are just kind of reading through the posts rather than listening. It's also a really great way to repurpose content from places like YouTube onto Instagram with very little extra effort. So for this video, let's say you want to pull around a one minute snippet from your YouTube video to repurpose as a little teaser on your Instagram feed. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could use the entire video rather than the one minute snippet and put the whole video on Instagram. But I personally want to encourage my Instagram audience to go over to YouTube. So that's why I'm teaching it this way. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to tube2gram.com and then click this middle square that says post YouTube to Instagram. And then you can paste your YouTube URL if you're using one of your past YouTube videos. You can paste that right here. And are you so there over we go. Face It will pull up your YouTube video and then you can kind of use this little scrubber to find the clip that you want. So I think I'm going to use this clip right here. Now, I can't be the only person that hasn't been on my Facebook business page in like years. <laughs> okay, so this little clip is perfect and you can, if you wanna make it more precise, you can put in the exact timestamps here. Okay, and then once you have your clip selected right here, um, so my clip right here is gonna be about a minute long, I'm going to scroll down here and click start download. So just beware, this is kind of a spammy site probably because it's free, so just don't click on like any of these ads here, but um, you can click start download. And you can either just download the little one minute clip by clicking download video, or you can email it to yourself, but I'm just gonna actually download it to my desktop. Now, I can't be the only person. Okay, and here it is. So I'm going to save it real quick. So I just saved that to my desktop. And now part two is I'm going to go to zubtitle.com and it's zubtitle.com. Um, you can just create a free account. I think it lets you do one video for free. Since I've been using this a lot, I've actually upgraded, but you can make at least one video for free. And then you're just gonna come over here and click add new video. And I'm going to upload the video, that little one minute clip I just made. I'm gonna upload it. There it is. All right, and now, so it has the whole transcription here, and I've been actually pretty impressed with how good the transcription is, but the cool thing is if you want to, you can kind of go in and make any edits that you need, so if anything is spelled wrong or you wanna capitalize anything, you can do that here, and then you can go into the style of your video, and this is where it's really cool and you can actually change the aspect ratio, so if you wanted to post this little clip to Instagram stories, for example, you could select this one, um, or IGTV, and then if you wanted to do it just for your Instagram feed, you could change it to this size. Um, and then of course you can personalize it, make it fit your branding. So I've kind of made a couple different tweaks to have it fit my branding. You can change the colors, you can add a headline here. 
um, really make it kind of fit your branding. You can adjust the title a little bit until it looks exactly how you want it. And then once it's good to go, you can go to download and click download. And then you will have your little one minute clip with the subtitles ready to go. Okay, so now that you have your Instagram video with the captions on it, ready to go, fitting your branding, and even the white bars on top and bottom if you want to, you're all ready to go, but just to make sure that you get the most benefit from doing this, you wanna make sure that the caption of your Instagram post is telling people where to go to watch the full video. So if you're doing the example that I did, which was pulling the snippet from YouTube, you obviously want the call to action to say, click the link in my bio to watch the full YouTube video, or you can say something like, search Rebel Nutrition on YouTube to watch my latest video, something like that. But now if you don't have a YouTube channel and you still wanna do this, you could also use this exact same process and just make an IGTV video. And the cool thing about this is that you don't even have to do step one. You could just record, let's say, a 10 minute IGTV video, put it into subtitle, get the subtitles on there, and post it to IGTV. Just make sure you click the little box that says show preview in feed or something like that. Because if you do this, Instagram will automatically pull about a one minute snippet for your Instagram feed. And then people can click right from that video to watch the entire video on IGTV. And the cool thing about that too, is that you can actually link to your website, your offerings, your freebies, things like that in the description of your IGTV. So that is also a really good option if you don't yet have the swipe up feature on Instagram stories. All right, you guys, I hope you love this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try it out. And just a quick reminder too, I have tons of other Instagram related tips, tricks, and even an entire masterclass on how to use Instagram to sell your products, services, and courses that I will link to in the description box below. So I would love to have you guys there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.